When ships go to sea, they encounter many dangers, from collisions, rocks and wrecks, to all types of weather. In fact, over 30% of shipping accidents are caused by the weather. Maritime Safety Information and the Worldwide Met Ocean Information and Warning Service help to keep ships and people safe from harm. Since the sinking of the Titanic, which gave rise to the International Convention for Safety of Life at Sea, or SOLAS, the IMO, IHO, and WMO have been working to make shipping safer by coordinating the provision of warnings to ships in line with the Joint Manual on Maritime Safety Information. WMO has also created regulations and guidance for meteorologists to ensure accurate information reaches ships at the appropriate time. With ships constantly on the move, it's critical that weather information and warnings match their changing location and environment. To achieve this in the open waters, which are not governed by particular countries, the world's oceans are divided into 21 MET areas. The meteorologist on duty at the designated issuing service within each MET area is responsible for sending out regular forecasts and issuing warnings and advisories when needed to highlight dangerous weather conditions in that particular area. For coastal waters, national meteorological services are responsible for issuing marine forecasts and warnings. Let's take a look at how it works. Before sailing, a ship's captain asks for the latest forecast. She receives a warning of fog, a collision, and two drifting ships to be avoided. As the ship clears a narrow strait into shallower waters, a gale warning is issued by the meteorologist. Sailing through the Southwest Pacific on its way to Antarctica, the ship receives a warning of an intensifying tropical cyclone within the area. Storm force winds and dangerous seas with very high swells and waves lie ahead. Alerted to the danger, the captain changes course and steers well away from the tropical cyclone. Crossing the Antarctic Circle into the Antarctic coastal area, an ice information broadcast provides details of drifting ice and icebergs, periodic rain and snow, and warnings of freezing spray. For a while, all is quiet as the ship sails past numerous fishing vessels until the captain receives an urgent warning of an erupting volcano and a drifting ash cloud, which could reduce visibility, damage equipment and engines, and lead to health issues. She makes sure she sails around it. Finally nearing her port of call, the captain is happy to receive a clear weather forecast. Thanking the meteorologist for all the information and warnings, she is grateful for another safe and successful voyage at sea. Maritime Safety Information and the Worldwide Met Ocean Information and Warning Service keep ships and people safe.